using Google Ads at all. Google's calling your name. Hello, Google, Google, Google. Google Ads, guys, they're doing super, super big numbers for our brand. We've literally had a 20 rods in one of our search campaigns. We're gonna be talking about that in this video and basically just some of the things you guys should be doing with those Google search campaigns. Hey guys, what's going on? As Anthony mentioned, we quickly want to share with you one small thing we did on Google to literally have a really successful Boxing Day weekend and get a really high ROAS on our ad account. And a few of you may have already heard of this term, but if you're new to Google and kind of don't know the terminology and kind of what it is, what we're, what we're going to talk about today is called brand search. And broken down, essentially there's two kind of things that you can run on Google in terms of ads. Number one being search ads where anytime a customer types a certain query into Google, you show up in the search results. And then there's shopping ads where if you search winter jacket, you see those photos of winter jackets for shopping ads, you buy through the link and it's done. We've run them both. And if you ask anyone that runs Google ads, for the far majority in e-commerce, shopping ads are farly more profitable and just more consistent over the long run in our experience at least. But for this video, we want, to talk, we want to talk about something that's almost like a fundamental to running Google ads and that's having your brand search campaign on. Now, what does this entail? Well, quite frankly, it's really simple. The only objective of this kind of search campaign is that whenever a customer types in your brand name on Google, you wanna show up first at the top every single time. Uh, if your brand's a little bit more experienced and your domain is very trusted, has lots of backlinks and whatnot, then generally your SEO will be good and you might show up at the top organically, but if a different company is running your brand's name in their keyword list, they could actually show up before you and I've actually seen that happen quite a bit, whether it be for shopping or search. So it's important to have this brand search campaign on and I'm just gonna quickly explain how to set this up. There's a few different types of matches on Google when people search for your brand. Broad match, exact match, modified broad match, phrase match. Summed up, when you are, the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do if you don't have this yet is of course create your Google Ads account. Shopify makes it really easy to do this if you do it through their app. You don't have to do it through there, but it's probably the easiest way to just download the Google app, go through there, then go to open a new tab and search um, whatever, I think it's like ads.google.com, create your ad account, verify your domain, make sure all that stuff good to go. For search ads, you do not need to set up your actual product catalog and your merchant center yet with Google. You will if you wanna run shopping ads, but if you only wanna run search ads, like for this campaign, then you won't have to. Once that's set up and you've added your billing information, your domain's verified and all that good stuff, you can then start to set up this actual campaign. Google's campaign setup is kind of similar to Facebook, not too much, but in all essence, here's what you wanna do. You're gonna create your campaign. You're literally gonna want to give this campaign a budget of like maybe like 10 to 20 dollars to start, depending on how much search volume you're already getting for your keywords. It might vary, but to be honest, like you just gonna give it a 10 or 20 dollar budget for this campaign. In terms of bidding, you're, like I said, you're gonna to want to have this as manual CPC, 20 dollar budget, and for the keywords, you want to go to a website like AdWordsWrapper.com, which I'll link below. Type in your brand's name exactly how it appears if someone were to search it. Grab the three types of keywords that I'm gonna screenshot here and show you and just paste that into your keywords for Google. And then once the whole ad set is kind of done, set up, you can then move over to the ad part. This is kind of the most important part and there's a few ways to do this. The way you, we usually do it is we say our brand name, we say official site, and then we might say like a one or two like USPs or like just like a guarantee. So we'll say like, say our brand name is called Corey.com. We'll say Corey.com official site, free shipping, and then maybe something else we'll kind of choose. Sometimes Google actually decides what headlines show up and stuff like that if you opt in for that option. But that's a, the most important one is having that official site there. A lot of brands like Nike, Gymshark, and a few other ones, of course, I'll throw up. Kind of always just say official site. So we do that too, just to kind of blend in with the pros and seem professional. You can change around if you want. Say you sell camping stuff, you can say like camping.com, the number one recommended camping stuff, etc., etc. But regardless, you want to have this turned on. Like we just said, we had a boxing day we had a huge boxing day still going on and a lot of our TikToks were going viral on TikTok. And so a lot of people were searching our brand name on Google. And I feel like that if we didn't have that brand search campaign on, a few people may have actually missed our website or maybe not bought. But thank God that we had it on. We actually spent about maybe like 20 bucks the whole weekend and had a 20 ROAS. So if you do the math, you know how much that made us. That pretty much wraps it up, summed up for a brand search. Just to recap, you want brand search on so that you show up at the top and keep on building good momentum through there. One important thing that you might want to take note of is negative keywords. So 
Similar to Facebook, how you can exclude certain interests if you wish, you can exclude certain keywords from your Google ad campaigns to not show up for that certain term. So if someone searches, let's go back to the original example. If say my website is called Corey Shop, if someone searches Corey Shop discount code, you might want that to be a negative keyword so that your ad doesn't show up because on Google, you're paying per click. So your ad can get 10,000 impressions, but if no one clicks, you're not actually getting billed. And so that's why negative keywords are so awesome because if someone types in Corey's shop phone number and they click on your ad, it's a waste because they're not going to buy. And so you just paid for a click and when you know for a fact that they're not gonna buy because all they're looking for is your phone number, if that makes sense. So there's kind of like a universal like negative keyword list that you can use. You can find some on Google, maybe I'll, I'll link some below. So, but some of them do include like phone number, location, address, kind of like maybe like Corey shop Facebook page. And you don't wanna show up for those terms with your actual ad because if they click, they're not gonna buy. So you just wasted money on that click. That pretty much wraps it up for this video. Once again, brand search can be really effective if this is your first time learning about Google Ads and you want some more info about it, we, don't, we aren't experts yet. We're not super good at Google, but we definitely do run Google Ads. And so we'll try answering any questions you have. If you want to ask us questions, you can comment below. But if you want to get a little bit more of a one-on-one -on -one help, make sure you hop in our Discord server. I'll, I'll link it below. It's free to join. Every single day, people that run e-com agencies, SaaS companies, of course, e-commerce brands are hopping in there and just talking, expanding their network, asking a few questions, answering some questions. So if you want to be the next person, feel free to hop in below and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.